everyone. Today I am doing the random number challenge makeup roulette. What else do people call it? Bingo? I don't know. Basically we are doing products 1 to 5 and I've got a random number generator on my phone and we are just going to go for it and use each product that pops up. And I have chosen a mixture of products I love, products I don't like, drugstore high end and just products that perform very differently just to keep it real interesting. So let's see what happens. A little bit worried and a little bit excited as well. So to start off with we have primer and we have Stila One Step Correct with number one. Meteorites Base by Guerlain which is more glowy. J1 Jelly Pack number three which is like a super glue primer very different from the others. Number four is the Smashbox Even Skin Tone Primer. I love Smashbox primers but not this particular one. And then the final one the sticker will not stick to it. Number five. This is the Dermalogica Skin Perfect Primer SPF 30. I really like this but I use it less often. It's a good like pore filling kind of primer. I'm hoping for something quite hydrating so let's give the uh, random number a spin so we have a random number generator up on my screen this is just the default I've put one to five one to five generate we've got four so number four it oh, of course it is it's the one I don't really like so Smashbox photo finish even skin tone I really liked the hydrating one they used to do I like the plain one like the original one but this one for some reason like I don't know I just don't really rate it like at all it feels very very thick like a pore filling primer like professional by benefit or something and it just does not like I just don't like the way it feels on my skin it feels like too slippery. The last time I tried it my foundation just slid around on top of it and it was so hard to like blend my foundation in because it would just like streak. So this is great. This is off to a good start. I love it. Love that for me. Honestly I must have like had some bad karma. Alright it makes your skin very very soft but it's just like zunk, like not good. Next up let's do concealer. I'm giving up on the stickers because they just keep falling off all the packaging. So in spot one we have the Jeffree Star concealer. Spot two we have Born This Way by Too Faced which I love. In spot three we have the Huda Beauty Overachiever concealer. In spot four we have the Ink concealer by Peri Peri. And in spot five we have the CoverGirl True Blend It's Lit concealer. I actually like pretty much all of these. Some of them I like more than others so let's see what we get. Alright let's go generate. We have number one. So we're going in with the Jeffree Star Concealer. This is in the shade C3. Uh, we are going to apply this on top of our eyebrows first of all. I'm going to actually like, the reason I'm doing concealer first is because I'm doing the concealer around my eyebrows. I'll go back to this after the foundation and put it under my eyes as well. Honestly this primer literally feels like I've just covered my face in silicon. I don't like the way it feels and I just don't understand how anything can stick to it. This is the maybe second, no probably the third or fourth time actually I've used this concealer. I'm still like trying to figure out if I like it or not. Like I don't dislike it, but it's not one of my holy grails so far. If you can hear some noise outside, by the way, we've got like a constructor at our house right now. <laughs> not ideal timing. And then I'm just gonna use my little concealer brush to carve out these bad boys. I feel like the concealer on top of this primer is just going so streaky. I feel like the coverage of this concealer is not up to par on top of this primer because every, why does my freaking camera always wanna focus on that damn candle in the background? Just gonna make this a bit, ooh, bit darker so you can see a little bit better. Uh, I just don't understand how anyone could like this primer. Like, like I said, I love some of the other ones in that range, just not that one. I do feel like this concealer bleeds a little bit. Like, some of my other concealers I use around my eyebrows don't, I swear to God, they don't like drip down, whereas this one kind of drips down into my eyebrows a little bit. It doesn't look as sharp as my other concealers, but it could be the primer. So we're not off to the best start right now. We're gonna go straight into your eyeshadow. I'm just gonna prime my eyelids using just whatever I pick up first, Smashbox, because all of my primers basically look the same and work the same. They're all just like tinted primers. <laughs> all right, so we are going to pick between number one, the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, which looks like this, which I haven't used. I haven't used any of these. I thought it'd be fun to try something new. Number two, the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, which is more of like a red tone. Number three is an affordable palette, which looks really pretty. The Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette. I love the packaging. It's super cute. Number four is the Color Festival 20 Color Eyeshadow Palette by BH Cosmetics. Another very affordable one. And then the number five will be Makeup Geek Peach Bellini. It's a little bit more neutral. 
and I just thought it'd be fun to pop it in there. So we've got a few colourful ones and a few very neutral ones as well. So one to five, let's go. We have shade, I mean shade, what? Palette three, which is our Maybelline Lemonade Craze. I'm actually very, very excited to try this. Okay, how are we gonna do this? I'm just gonna go, I should really just like label this, but it's just, oh, let me just write on it in vivid, scroll it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 1 to 12, we're going to pick our first shade, shade 5, which is this citrus colour. Um, it has shimmer in it. I'm going to swatch it for you. It's actually more of just like a all over colour, like brow bone kind of colour. It's very, very soft. Um, it's got a nice kind of shine to it, but it's not super like metallic or anything. So I think with this shade, we should just pop it all over the eyelid just to set the primer. And this primer is even separating. Ooh, uh, the eye primer is separating because of that freaking primer. Like, ugh, I'm so sad about this, you guys. Like, honestly, that's one of my favorite primers of all time. It's just that the face primer is trash. Oh my god, this color is actually stunning and it's quite pigmented too. Hopefully you can see it on camera because it's like very subtle it's not like a super bright color but in real life like the shine it gives is so nice generate and we've got shade three so shade three oh god it's another similar kind of shade it's called strawberry lemonade and it's a bit more metallic so actually i'm just going to take it on my finger and put that on at the eyelid and pray that our next color is matte so i can define my crease i'm also going to take a little bit extra of that color and put it on my brow bone because it's so shiny like look at that how good would that be as a face highlighter it's so nice i really like the look of this palette but i do think there could have been a few more color variations just in like this kind of area because a lot of these shades are very similar they do have different textures though but i still feel like they could have just made like a few darker colors just to give you a bit more of a variation we are going to do shade 10 which is oh here we go this looks like more of a matte color it's called coral punch it is like a tangerine matte shade. So we're gonna pop this straight into our crease. Thank goodness. These are actually like a really decent pigmentation. Easy to blend. Like look at that. I'm just using a nice big fluffy brush just to really diffuse the color. I'm doing a very soft look because I feel like the colors are just very soft. I don't wanna try and do anything harsh with these. And they're actually performing well even though my base was trash. So that's a good sign. If I actually had a good base on and a good primer and everything, I'm sure they'd do even better than they already are. I love this shade. That's so pretty for like spring, summer. Let's just do one more click and just see what happens. Shade one. Oh my God. That worked out really well. So we get a really nice dark color. This is called Old Fashioned. I and mean, I'm just gonna use this like on my outer corners and stuff. Just, whoa, I'm dropping everything. Just to give it a whole lot more definition. I'm very happy about this. Okay, that's really good. I feel like the pigmentation on this is really good, especially for someone that's just more of a beginner with eyeshadow and doesn't like a really hard to blend kind of formula. It's very easy to blend. Like the pigment's really good. It's not the best I've ever seen, but it's good. Do you know what I mean? Like it's good enough. It's not trash and it's really easy to work with. I hope that makes sense. Next up let's do foundation. For our foundation today I've picked a whole lot like some I like more than others so we have our Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in shade I mean in spot one not shade one. Spot two we have Clinique Beyond Perfecting. Spot three we have our Touche Club I don't know how to say it. Yves Saint Laurent. Spot four, we have our L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation. And then at spot five, we have our Dior Backstage Face and Body at Foundation. So we've got some different textures and different kind of finishes, different coverage. I really want something for coverage because I've been breaking out since being on my period. Okay, we're gonna generate, I just tapped the button by accident, so. Okay, three, we are going to use the Touche Club all-in-one glow foundation by Yves Saint Laurent. Hopefully this matches. I tried to pick all like pale foundations. This is in the shade B20. I actually gave this to my mum to like use and she gave it back to me and never tried it and I'm like bitch. I feel like my mum would love this foundation because it's very glowy and really nice and like hydrating and stuff. Like it doesn't look dry or crusty or anything. I feel like it would be a good formula for like more mature skins. Oh god, look, it's separating on this primer though. Yuck. I'm just so sad right now. Like, I'm honestly, like, I regret actually adding that to the equation. I was like, oh, there's only a one in five chance I'll have to use the primer. 
and just really set me up for the entire rest of the video, didn't it? Like, that is just shit. So I'm probably gonna have to do a few layers of this to try and make it stick to my skin because it's just sliding around, like you can see yourself. I'm doing a whole nother pump on each side. I feel like it's disappearing. I'm honestly just like sad about my life right now. This foundation is amazing, but not with this freaking shit primer. Like, look, even on my neck, it's just like going on so nicely because there's no primer on my neck. <sighs> and it's not covering anything because the product is just like disintegrating and like, ugh. At least the finish still looks nice. That's one positive thing. Literally, as soon as I stop blending the foundation, it just starts to like separate and I just got foundation all over my earrings. Today's going great, thanks for asking. That is literally as good as we're gonna get so I'm going back in with the concealer that we drew out of the random little generator before and just literally cover my face in this probably. I'm gonna need to put it on my breakouts even though it doesn't match because I honestly like no like I'm unhappy. I'm very unhappy. I feel stitched up. I feel backstabbed. I can't believe this has happened to me. Those breakouts are just little bitches and they're not gonna get covered. And blend this out. Okay, this is actually blending out for norm under my eyes. Like it looks so smooth, so thank God for that. Like at least this, obviously like this formula under my eyes is okay. Or maybe it's sticking to the foundation. So I have a bit of foundation under there. I don't know what's going on, but that's actually sticking now. Unlike earlier and unlike the YSL foundation. My chin looks stupid. This is the darkest color I have. <laughs> I like that. Um, concealer much better under my eyes than on the eyebrows like I don't know it looks nice it looks smooth oh wow now he's using like a chainsaw or something this is good or is that a vacuum cleaner I'm just gonna layer on some more foundation on top of the concealer and see if it helps at all nope cool mint love that love that for me at least I'm glowing that is a positive now let's head over to the powder all right under our eyes we've got number one pick um, Summer Bisque, my favourite. Next up we have Elf for spot 2. Then we've got the Huda Beauty Cupcake Powder for spot 3. For spot 4 we have KKW Brighten Powder. This is for under my eyes of course. And then for spot 5 we have the Translucent Banana Powder by Milani. So let's go for it. We've got number 2 which is our Elf setting powder. I actually really like this and I retried it recently um, and I think it was in my shop, my stash video or something like that and I remembered how much I loved it. It does have a bit of shimmer in it which I never used to notice back in the day but now I do. But yeah, it's really good. It's so finely milled. I think it's a good dupe for the Kat Von D powder that I used to love. So I'm just going to tap that under my eyes. You can see immediately like how brightening it is and it just smooths everything out. Like does Elf do this formula in a full face loose powder because I would buy it for like my entire face. It just makes me look newly born. I love that. I'm stoked with that choice. At least, you know, it's starting to look a little bit better. It's just those breakouts that's really annoying me. I'm gonna have to face tune that, you know? <sighs> Alright, pressed powder time. I'm praying for something with good coverage. So, for shade one, I mean, meh, spot one, we have the Studio Fix by MAC, which is one of my favourites. So, I had to put him in there. Spot two, I've only used this a couple of times, but I think I like it. It's the Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder in shade light. Then we have the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination in shade light. Then we have CoverGirl um, Vitalist Healthy Powder. And then in spot 5 we have the Illuminated Translucent Pressed Beauty Powder which I'm praying and praying that we do not get because I want something with coverage today. <laughs> so generates, okay spot 3 which is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination in shade light. Is this gonna, oh, this is gonna be too dark for me, so this is gonna be a fail. I like the formula of this, it's not one of my favorites though. Like, I just like it. Here goes nothing. I'm just going to pack that all over my face. Try to give myself a little bit of extra coverage, was, and try to pack it over my breakouts too, just to try and attempt to cover it a little bit more. Ready? Kind of worked. I like that. You can see it's definitely a bit too dark for me, so we're gonna have to bring this all the way down underneath our neck and everything just to try and make it look all right. It's definitely like blurring my skin a lot, which I do really like. Can you see that? Like it looks very flawless, just a bit orange. It's not too bad. It's definitely a bit too dark, but we're gonna roll with it and do our best. I mean, the whole point of this video is for it to be a fail, isn't it? Is it? Like, I don't know. I feel like 
these videos are just stitch ups. But I'm trying my best to pull this off, you guys. You guys should try this too, it's so much fun. Like, even though I'm kind of hating my life right now, it is very entertaining. <laughs> Alright, next up, just real quick, I think I'll just fill in my brows. They don't need a lot, as you can see. Um, just like a very light amount. I might even just do a brow mascara. So let me see what we've got. I don't even know if I have five. Okay, I've actually got more than five, but these are the ones I have chosen. For spot one, we have our Anastasia Beverly Hills. Then we have Gimme Brow, which is my all-time favorite. Then we have the Tint My Brows by Australis, which really impressed me, actually. I think this is the one that Hamish picked me when we did the Boyfriend Buys My Makeup Challenge. I'll link it below for you. Then we have the Rimmel Wonderful Brow, which I recently tried and liked. I actually like all of these. There's none. I don't think I have any in my collection anywhere that I dislike. Like, I would have already decluttered them. The last one here is the Milani Easy Brow Tinted Fiber Gel. So, let's Let's go. Generate. We've got number two, which is Gimme Brow. There you go. I'm happy with that choice. So I use shade three. Three is my favorite. I actually, believe it or not, haven't actually used my Gimme Brow in a little while because I have been like trying to use other ones like my MAC one, my Anastasia Beverly Hills one, some of my drugstore ones. So this is one of the brow gels, surprisingly. Um, I've had the biggest break from which blows my mind because it is my favorite. And this is just going to give me a little bit of definition. It's going to thicken my eyebrows and just cover my little blonde hairs because I have like blonde or like reddish blonde eyebrow hairs. So it's just going to like groom my eyebrows and make them look like I did something, which I did technically. But do you know what I mean? Like I didn't even have to fill them in. Mind blowing. I've been so minimal on my eyebrow routine lately. Like do you guys prefer it or do you like how I used to do my eyebrows better? Please help me out here because I feel like this looks better but I'm like is it just me? Like am I just lazy? Because this is like way quicker than what I used to do as well. I'm just going to take my eyeshadows once more and just use the same shades that have already been chosen for me. So I'm going to take a little bit of the coral colour. What's it called again? Coral Punch. And just run that underneath a little and then I'm gonna take the old-fashioned shade which is the dark brown and just put that on the outer corner just touching that up and maybe just a little bit more here I feel like they faded ever so slightly so I'm just touching them up this is a slim crease brush by the way and then I'm going to also quickly go in with which shade was it? Strawberry Lemonade, I think it was. Just on my inner corner to brighten that up. I really love this shade. This is probably my favorite. Like, I actually love it. I feel like we need to do a waterline color. I'm gonna like pick five shades that work with the look. Um, maybe a couple of outrageous ones as well. How about this? So we've got some brights and some wearables. Like if I could pick, I'd probably do this one, number four. To me, that is number four. To you, it's probably number two. Okay, so let's generate. We have number four. Ta-da! See? Life doesn't- I must have had some good karma also. Like, I've kind of just been a total bitch in my past life or whenever the heck it's been. Karma runs off your current life, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Obviously, I'm not a complete garbage person. This is in the shade Get Paid. I've never used this before. I'm just going to- oh my god, that's stunning. This one feels creamier than the other ones. You know how I've been bitching about them lately? Like, being real crumbly and stiff? This one's like, actually like, you see it? It's sliding on real easy. And the color is amazing. It kind of makes me look like I've got an eye infection, but I dig it. Gosh, stoked. Okay, I'm also gonna run a little bit on my top lash line. Let's go for it. Just cause otherwise it's just like black eyeliner. Like we might as well do something kind of interesting, right? So I've gone quite thick and then I'm going to take my brush with what he was left from that lighter color and just kind of like blend into it. Just to give a soft kind of like definition. I love that word definition. I literally say that in every video to like pretend like I know what I'm talking about. I'm like definition guys, it's definition. <laughs> There's a little bit of definition on that top lash line. <laughs> this is good. That's that formula is way better than my other ones. I don't know what's up with that. I guess some of the other ones are like neon and stuff. I don't know, like the formula probably reacts differently with the colours. I don't know. Anyways, next up we have mascara. I'm going to cloud. Just a bunch of random ones that are in my collection. This one's super dried out. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the group just because it'll be a disaster. So we have five mascaras here that I haven't used in a while. First off is this one that needs to go in the bin because it's dried out. I do really like this though. It's incredibly volumizing. It can be clumpy if you're not careful. So it's probably clumpy now because it's dried out. Scandalized Wow Wings by Rimmel. And then we have the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes, which is an old favorite of mine, but I haven't used it in a long time. We've got the Cover Your Exhibitionist Mascara. We've got the NARS Climax Mascara, which I also love and haven't used in ages. And the Shock by YSL as well. So let's go in. Shade 5. I mean, 
Why do I keep saying shade five? I'm such an idiot. We've got the YSL The Shock Mascara. All right, the construction man has gone home. So that's good. We're not gonna have any chainsaw slash vacuum sounds, whatever it was. I don't even know. It was confusing me. So this mascara, I do like it. This is probably quite dried out as well. To be honest, I need to go through my mascaras and get rid of heaps of the old ones. Cause you know, I'm always opening new mascaras to try in videos for you guys. And they just start drying out cause I can never use them up quick enough. You can see it's quite like clay like this formula. Um, quite thick. It's always quite thick, even when it's fresh, in my opinion. And the brush has these little bristles that wrap around. Um, I find it quite effective, but is it worth the money? I don't know, because I honestly find so many, like, drugstore mascaras just as good as high-end, if you know what I mean. But I do like it. I love the packaging. I think the packaging's really, really cute with, like, the pinky kind of rose gold almost lid. I don't know. I think it's nice. And I definitely like quite, like, thickening dryish formulas like this rather than something that's very liquidy and wet. You can see it's giving me some nice results just here. Those are just my natural lashes and it's giving heaps of volume. I'm just going to coat the ends of my lashes to give it a bit more length as well. By the way guys, I literally bought like a little roulette kind of wheel thing so I'm going to do some of those spinning videos. I think I've seen Alyssa Ashley, is that her username, do it? Um, so yeah, I want to do some videos like that too and I want to do more videos like this So if you do enjoy this, please make sure you thumbs up so I know and if you've got any critique or You know if you think there's a way I could do it better feel free to hit me up other than sticking freaking labels to everything Because honestly they just keep falling off and I'm offended just touching on my eyeshadow again I just feel like the dark browns a little bit patchy. I still like this palette. It's not my favorite but I do actually like it because the colors are so stunning and it's nice and accessible like especially in New Zealand because it's so hard in New Zealand to get some palettes especially if you don't live in like one of the main cities I just want to for fun like swatch this so pretty I love how yellows are on trend okay so next up we've got eyelashes and I think what I'll do is oh, I was gonna pick out like a five stack of my lashes from Exo Beauty because we've got the sets of lashes that have five different styles in them but I don't have any <laughs> so Let's go in with just five random ones. Okay, so number one, we have Double Duty Beauty Vegan Lashes by Tarte in the thingy, Man Eater style. Man Eater. I'm trying to find some with like invisible bands because I don't have black eyeliner on. Okay, this one doesn't have an invisible band, but hey, we are trying to be risky here, I guess. These are by Glam Manicure. We are Handsome Natural Lashes in Isla Majorius. I don't know if that's how you say it. Chic Lashes, XO Beauty. Uh, we've got Opulence by Lily Lashes, Foaming Lashes, which also don't have an invisible band, but hey. And then let's just go crazy. Jacqueline by Huda Beauty for the last ones. So we've got five different brands here. All right, let's generate. Number two, we have Glam by Manicure. These are like the shortest ones out of all of the styles that I've just picked. So we're going for a natural lash today, apparently. I don't think I've tried anything like this before. They look very nice. They kind of remind me of the Soulmate by XO Beauty, but like shorter, if that makes sense. And they look like this out of the packaging. I feel like I shouldn't have to trim these because they don't look very long. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. I think these will actually look quite nice because they're just very voluminous. I can tell I'm going to really like the way they look once they're on. They're just like quite difficult to get on because the band is so stiff. Like they just keep popping off. So I've just like laid them flat. So I can try to like mold them on as they start to stick. They give like a real nice little punch of darkness to my lash line. Okay, we'll keep fiddling with them as we go. Let's skip over to contouring. I know I look like I just put concealer on my lips, but it was lip balm and it mixed with everything and it looks like concealer. All right, number one, we have the Makeup Store Gobi. Number two, we've got the little Sweetheart Sweet Tea by Too Faced. And then number three is another Too Faced, except this is Chocolate Gold Soleil, which is quite a bit like darker which could be too dark for me today, so that's a bit risky. We've got Hula for number four, and then for number five, we have the True Blend by CoverGirl. So let's generate five. So we're going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. I'm happy about that. I really like this. It gives you a really beautiful kind of glow to your skin, like that J-Lo glow. I'm going in with a medium face brush. This is from the Marble set, which you still can get. And I'm just going to buff that over my actual cheeks. They're going to contour later. I'm just going to see how much contour I actually need before I commit. Um, this is real nice. I love this. If you don't like glowy skin, you won't like it. But if you do love a good, like, dewy finish, like, it's a necessity. And the undertone's real pretty. Like, it just gives you that real intense bronze look. And it blends out effortlessly. So that's just helped to sculpt my face. Now let's do a little bit of blush. My inner corners are hanging on for dear life. Like they may pop off. 
I've done my best to like clamp them down. Like they look pretty, but they're just not on very well. <laughs> Number one, we have Three Concept Eyes Peachy Beach. Number two, we have Crash by Kylie Cosmetics. Number three, we have a Tom Ford duo. I don't actually know the real name of this because it was a press sample, so it doesn't have the actual label. Number four, we have MAC Warm Soul. And then number five, we have Milani Coralina, which is like bright coral color. Coral color, coral color. So let's generate the number. We're doing number four, which is Warm Soul, which is the one I did not want to use today because I feel like I just wanted a pop of color. But oh well. At least it should look safe, I guess, but I don't think it's going to really pop much against that bronzer. It's kind of like a similar shade. I'm like piling it on. You can barely see it. All right, for our highlighter, I've chosen a few different kind of undertones. So we have the Dior Nude Illuminizer in 01, which is like so pretty. I love this. It's like a champagne, like a pure champagne with slight gold undertones. I really wish I had some pinker blush on right now. I feel a bit muddy. Anyway. Then we have Kylie Princess Please, which is like a pink highlight, which I don't know if that'll suit me with this look. Then we have a Milani one. This is like a peachy pink. This is the Hypnotic Lights highlighter in Luster Light 03. Kind of hard for you to see, but yeah, it's got kind of like, oh, that's actually quite pretty. It's like a peachy color. And then we have a Killer Watt in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, which is like a very beige highlighter. And then the final one is So Hollywood Loose Highlighter, which is a bit more like bronzy on my skin tone. Generating a number. number two of course it is it's the pink one just when i think you know it's getting better it gets worse again this eyelash is literally not even touching my skin i'm going to use it with a detail face brush this is from the vegan 2.0 set and i'm going to apply that on my cheekbones okay it doesn't look too bad it's still not like my first choice it's not coming up as pink on top of like all those other bronze colors we've used. It's kind of like making it more neutral looking, which is probably a good thing. So on my finger, it's definitely quite like icy and it's not too pink actually. I feel like it looks more pink in the packaging than when you actually swatch it. It's actually blending out quite nicely too, so I'm pretty stoked with that. All right, now let's have a bit of fun with the lip color. I feel like we need to have some different color combinations. So let me go dig some out. Okay, so we've not chosen any like true nudes. Like what I would naturally go for in this look would be like a pale nude. So I've gone for more pops of colors today. So in spot number one, we have Playdate by Dose, which is like a bright candy pink. Then we have number 36 from the Sephora collection. This is like a really dark, bold shade, like pinky kind of color, I guess. The next one's terrifying. This is shade 22 by Saint Laurent. Honestly, I want to stare myself in the eye if I choose that one. Next up is something a little bit more muted, but still quite out there. It's like a really mustardy, orangey terracotta color. It's called Seven Springs by Colourpop. And then the final color we have is Geraldine by NARS. And this is like a orange based red, which is, I feel like that could look quite cool as well. But once again, it's definitely quite bold and out there. Please don't be number three. Please, please, please. Okay, five. Thank God. So it is the Geraldine Audacious Lipstick by NARS. I wanted to film a lip swatch video today, but my lips are so dry. I think because last night I made this meal and it was so salty. <laughs> I feel like it's the saltiest food I've ever eaten in my life. I felt bad for Hamish. She still ate it though, but honestly, I could only eat a little bit and I was so dehydrated. I sculled like six glasses of water last night and I woke up this morning just feeling like, so there you go. I'm not a master chef at all. That's actually more orange on your lips than what it looks like in the tube. I love it. Love, love, love it. That shade. That is beautiful. Once again, it is called Geraldine. Love it. I think that actually looks really cool with the eye makeup as well. I wasn't too sure. Like, I thought it could look good, but it looks even better than I expected. We did all right. Like the main thing that screwed us over was that primer, but we're not out of the clear just yet. We've got face spray next, like setting spray. Um, just to set everything down and make it last all day, depending on which one we get. First of all, we have one that I honestly hated. Um, Milani Make It Last Matte. This is a charcoal spray and it like last time left like black dots all over my face. Can you see that? So pray for me. Like please say a little prayer. Um, next up we have the Kylie Jenner Setting Spray. Just didn't think it was special at all and hated the scent of it. Next up we have the Becca Skin Love. I've just been starting to try this out and I really like it. It's very comparable to my Glam Glow one. Um, very glowy, kind of almost like an oilyish, like not really oily, but I don't know how to describe it. It's really nice though, I like that. Then we have MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, which I do like. It's not like my go-to for setting my makeup. Like it's good to soak up excess powders, not so good for longevity, but I do use this a lot to like wet pigments and do stuff like that with. Um, not my first choice, but I definitely don't hate it and the scent of this one's amazing. It's that spring one. 
And then the final one isn't technically a face setting mist, I thought I'd chuck this in here too. Um, this is a toner by Okane Skincare. It is cucumber and lettuce. It's a mist toner and it's actually really nice. It's completely natural. There's no nasties in here. I do like the skincare range quite a lot. I use this one a lot. I just filmed a little mini Instagram video for them. That's why I've got everything on my desk right now. But yeah, nice stuff. So cucumber and lettuce spray. So let's see which one we're using today. If I could choose one, I'd probably gravitate towards the Becca one just to... Um, give me a glow. Right, number one, far. I swear to god, every time there's something I passionately like dislike, it is the one that I get. I can't tell if my camera is good or bad. So we are doing the Milani Makeup Last Matte 24 hour, oh 16 hour, not 24 hour. <laughs> Matte Charcoal Setting Spray Makeup Last. Like, I just don't understand this. The pump is so bad too, it literally leaves globs everywhere. I'm gonna like put it as far away as my arm can reach. Like, I literally got a straight arm right now. You see that? And like normally I would do like 20 sprays of setting spray on my face, but I just refuse right now. I literally look like I tried to do for freckles and completely fucked it up and used like black eyeshadow. There we have it. We were going so well to that last step. If this video did entertain you for a little bit, please thumbs up. Please leave me a comment below. It would really help me out and help me reach more people with my videos. I really appreciate it. I love you guys and I'm really sad right now, but I'll get over it. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh -huh.